Praise the Lord. I am so happy to come on board today. I welcome every one of you on board today. One thing that is very important that you must understand is that we serve a God who doesn't store prayers, but a God that answers prayers. That's why before we start this moment, I would like to pray. Praise the Lord. Can we pray? Father, we give you all the praise. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We pray today that your word will have impact in our lives. Your word will transform every soul and everybody. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I just want to welcome you, and I want you to share to everyone so that we can reach out to the whole world. We can reach out to the whole world for them to have a benefit of what God is doing and the Word of God. I want to use this opportunity to welcome every one of you and to say Happy New Month to every one of us. Happy New Month. I celebrate you all and I thank you for tuning in this moment. We are talking about this month, we are talking about divine peace and rest divine peaks and rest and one thing you must know is that christ is the beginning of peace christ is the beginning of peace this must sink into your mind that christ is the beginning of peace a peaceful man is not a man that has houses that has money in his bank account that is not a peaceful man. A peaceful man is the man that have Christ. A peaceful man is the man that have Christ. That's why you can, you can understand based on the things that is happening in the world today that happiness does not come in the material things. It doesn't come in the things that you have. It doesn't come with the, in the cars that you drive. It doesn't come in the money that is in your bank account happiness and peace and rest comes through Christ Jesus. Let's go to the scripture John 16 reading from 33. John 16 we are reading from 33. Let's read. Those things I have spoken unto you that in me you may have Peace in me, you might have peace. In the world, you shall have tribulation. In me, that means in Christ, you will have peace. In the world, you have tribulations, you have challenges, you have restless life. But in Christ, you have peace and you have rest. That means outside Christ, there is no peace, there is no rest. The same thing is happening all over the world. Have you asked yourself a question? Why is it that someone may have money, may have cars, even may have security men all over, but still they commit suicide? They die for nothing. They die for not being happy. That reason is because Christ is not resident in the person. If Christ is resident in you, believe you me, peace will dwell in you. Now, let's take it this way. Anyone that is born again, receive the Spirit of God. If you are born again, you receive the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is the carrier of what? Peace. The Spirit of God is the convener of peace. That means when you have the Spirit of God, you have the peace of God in you. Look at what the Bible said in Galatians. Galatians 5 Reading from 22. Get with me Galatians 5, reading from 22. The Bible said, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. The fruit of the Spirit. That means when you have the Spirit of God, you have the peace of God inside of you. 
one of the experiences we are having mostly in Nigeria today, lack of peace. We have a lot of things. We have a lot of things. We have things that can make life better. We have things that women can use to enjoy the best of life. But believe in me that the problem we are having is because the peace of God is not richly dwelling in our nation. That is why we need the peace of God that packs its every understanding in every soul and body. We need the peace of God so that everything we desire, everything that we need will come easily without stress. Praise the Lord. It comes easily without stress. That is the proof that Christ lives in you. The proof that you have the Spirit of God, the proof that Christ lives in you, the proof that Christ lives in the nation is the peace that it brings during. That's why today, wherever you are hearing me, listening to me this moment, you one thing you must know, you have to give an opportunity to cry Jesus, to dwell richly in you for the peace that the Christ brings to flow like never before. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, another thing you must understand, when the Word of God is dwelling richly inside of you, the peace flow like a river. Peace flow like a river. Because the gospel also is the gospel of peace. The gospel is the gospel of peace. That means if we spread the gospel to nations, if we spread the gospel to souls of men, peace will come to nations, to family, to parastatus, to every place. Peace will reign. The word of God brings peace to everyone's soul. Praise God. I have discovered when I start looking at the word rest, the word rest. One of the things I discovered, according to the way dictionary put it, is a rest is just like relax. It's just like a word relax. You know, so many of us have been running from pillar to post, looking for solution where there is no solution, looking for help where there is no help. A man that has Christ don't need to run from pillar to post. You don't need to run from pillar to post because in Christ, is everything that you want in life because what dwells in you is the godhead the full god himself the full package is inside of anyone that is a believer you don't need to run from pillar to post looking for miracle when you have christ inside of you then the reason why many people are restless today is because they have never understood or understood who they are now, I look at rest, I said rest comes by knowing. Rest comes by what? By knowing. First of all, you must know who you are and you must know what Christ has done for you. You must know who you are in Christ Jesus and you must know what Christ has done for you. When you have the knowledge of what Christ has done for you and what Christ is still doing for you. You will not be running from pillar to post, looking for solution where there is no solution. The best place to find solution of every challenge, every tribulation, every trouble is in Christ Jesus. And how do you know? This is most a question that every one of us must ask. How do you know? How do you know who you are? How do you know what Christ has done for you? It's very important to every one of us. Knowing what Christ has done and knowing who you are in Christ Jesus. Now knowing who you are comes by what? It comes by reading. Knowing who you are, knowing what Christ has done comes by reading. It doesn't come by running from pillar to post, running from one church, one mountain to the other. It doesn't come like that. It comes by reading the Word of God. It comes by meditating the Word of God. The same instruction that God was giving to Joshua in the book of Joshua 1 verse 8. He said, Joshua, meditate 
on this thing. He said, let not this law, this book of the law, depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. Consistent reading and meditation and studying of God's word makes you understand who you are. Makes you understand what Christ has done for you. Christ has done it all. Christ has done it all. He has given you rest. You know, when you have rest, you stop being restless. The reason why for restlessness is because you have not really known who you are and what Christ has done for you. Many people are born again. Many people have received Christ. But not many knows who they are and what Christ has done for you. Now, that's why today I want every one of us, first of all, to understand what Christ has done for you and who you are in Christ Jesus. When you have this knowledge and understanding, peace will come into your spirit. Rest will come into your spirit. It's like someone that goes to exam hall. What will give you confidence on whatever the teacher or lecturer is going to sit on the board? What will give you confidence is that you have read. And when you see the questions, when you find out that you have read and you see the questions, what happens is that you have confidence. You relax. You relax and write. But when you fail to read, when you fail to understand, what is being said for you on the board, you become restless. You see, the restlessness in the world today is because people have failed to know what Christ has done for them. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth remains that Christ has done a lot. A lot for you and me. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Giving his son is not to destroy us. It's not to bring tribulation. It's not to bring challenges. But it's to do what? Bring peace to every one of us. To bring rest to every one of us. That is the reason Christ died. And Christ did not die for me alone. He died for you. He died to bring peace in your family. He died to bring peace in your soul. He died to bring peace to you. That means peace does not come in material things. Like I said before, it doesn't come in the series of cars you have. It doesn't come in the money in the bank account. But peace comes in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now look at what the Bible said. That is very clear to every one of us. Knowing who you are. First Peter 2 verse 9. I read. But ye are the chosen generation, a royal princehood, a holy nation, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Now, what is the confidence? What is it that you should know that Christ has done? One, Christ has brought you out of darkness and placed you into a marvelous light, out of darkness. That is the place of rest. That rest is a good position. You know, sometimes if you are to rest, first of all, you take a good position. Now, Christ brought us from darkness and he has given us a good position in light. That means every one of us, we have the light of God. And having this knowledge, you should know that darkness is no, long, no longer inside of you, but the light of God. The light of God is what passes every understanding. The peace of God, the rest of God, it makes you comfortable. It makes you comfortable. If you want to be comfortable in this world, in this life, you need to have Christ dwelling richly inside your spirit. That's why some people may ask question, why is it some people are happy even in uncomfortable, in uncomfortable places? You just find yourself being happy. You're not happy because of the situations and the things happening around you. 
you are happy because of the Spirit of God that brings peace and joy and love inside of you. That's why you are happy. It's bigger than everything. Material things will perish, but the joy and the peace of God is everlasting. Praise the Lord. And I pray to someone to, for someone today that the joy and the peace of God will never depart from you. It will never depart from your home. It will never depart from your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I say it will never depart. It will never depart. Praise the Lord. Those are the things that are very important that every one of us to know. Very important. The peace of God is richly and it dwells in everyone that is born of God. Everyone that is born of God. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, if anyone be in Christ, that means it's all centered in Christ. If anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are patched away. Behold, all things has become new. New life, new joy, new happiness, new peace, new rest. You will have rest in Christ Jesus. So ladies and gentlemen, I just want to encourage someone hearing the sound of my voice today. You have to stop running from pillar to post. Christ has done it all. Habalists cannot do it. Nobody else can do it. Christ has done it all. The solution you were looking for is not in any other place. It's in Christ Jesus. You see that problem you are going through? You see that challenge you are facing right now? I tell you before God, it is not in that place you want to run to. Is not in that place you are running to. Is in Christ Jesus. As Christ dwells richly in you, solutions and ideas comes. The Bible said, as many that is born of God, they are led by the Spirit of God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, you will never be confused. You will never be distracted. You will never be confused. Why? Because the Spirit of God cannot lead you into confusion. It cannot lead you into destruction. It will only lead you in the path of light and a path of peace. Praise the Lord. So you that is listening to me right now, I just want you to understand one thing. If Christ is in you, you have everything. You have everything. Now, when the Bible said that you are a new creature, all things are passed away. That means sickness has passed away, afflictions have passed away, trouble has passed away, that the peace of God has been renewed and has come into you. All things, I don't know what it seems to be old to you right now, but hear me, child of God, they have passed away. It is all new things that is happening because you are a new creature, you are a new being. That is who you are in Christ Jesus. That is who you are in Christ Jesus. And right now, it is in you. The Spirit of God is in you. And solutions and idea is in you. Our prayer today is going to center on peace. It's going to center on rest. That you that have been restless, the restlessness ends today. The trouble ends today. Why? Because... Christ dwells richly inside of you. Do you know that uh, it's not enough to be born again? It's not enough. The most important thing is that after being born again, after receiving salvation, which is given to you freely, after receiving it, there is something that the Spirit of God, potentials that the Spirit of God deposited inside of you, which you have to make use of. You, as a child of God, had to stir it up. Listen to me. The Spirit of God came in inside your spirit with joy, with peace, with love. It came with a lot of packages and it's late for you to stir it up. It's right inside of you. You stir it up. When you stir it up, 
you start making use of it. Ideas on how to do things right start coming. Why? Because the Spirit of God can never be wrong. Now, the same thing goes that we are going to still pray for this country, Nigeria. You see, based on what is happening in Nigeria and probably all over the world, based on what is happening in the Spirit, you see, crisis everywhere, trouble everywhere. Those things that is happening is not to maybe weigh us down or make us to be restless, no. Because our joy does not come from those things. Our joy does not come in the world. It comes in Christ. That's what the Bible said. You should not focus on the things that is happening in the world. He said, because in the world you have tribulations, but in Christ Jesus you will have peace. In Christ Jesus you will have peace. And that's why we are going to be focusing on the peace and rest. Peace and rest. You know, rest is our position. It's where God has positioned us. He has positioned us in the place of rest. And he said to us, look at what Christ said to us. Now, Christ made it so clear to us that your position ox in that realm. And he said that he had brought ox according to what the Bible said in fact, Peter 2 verse 9. He said, I have brought to you, I have called you, you that is listening to me. Christ is saying, I have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light out of darkness that means christ has positioned you in the place of shining in the place of greatness in the place of riches in the place of sound health he has positioned you that's why today as christ has positioned you we are going to be praying that the light will shine like never before in jesus precious name we have prayed we are going to be praying like i said earlier God does not store prayers. He answers prayers. He does not store prayers. He answers them. That's why we are going to be praying today. Having in a confidence that Christ will not store your prayers. He will answer your prayers. Praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pray this moment. Malego Jagada Bagadaga, Bendoria Hando, Rika Tobragado, Jeketebra. Wherever you are, just lift up your voice and pray with me in the spirit. Meli Kanto, Iande, Li Bagado, Gojenge, Degedi, Bragado, Jagada, Enkonto, Li Brango, Rokozo, Ianko, Jegende, Li Bragado, Gozunde, Li Gadaga, Engoro, Bogozondo, Le Bragado, Je, Engonda, Lam Bragado, Je, Inta, Li Bragado, Zu, Iankoro, Bogozo, Ingandoro, Bagadash, a Gorobogo, Janga, Lembra, Gadozo, Ean, Contole, Bagadendo, Eandoro, Suli, Prakaton, the Lege de Bogoja, Kaya, Bagadoza, and the Len, Corobogoja, Eako, Zuntaya, Bagadoz, Lembra, Gadiza, Catenda, a Gorobogodon, the Lego, Tole, Bagando, a Junca, Tole, Gende, Lege, the Braga, Doco, Sutaya, and Cora, Bagadozo, Lea, Malon, Zulege, Denge, de Bragadoja, Gedege, and Gond. Dole bongo dolonko son tole bagando rogoja e condole bagadaga goja gala bagadozo le bragadaga daba e coro bogo jangala bagadozo le bragadoje gede e gula bagadabaga le son taya bagadaba hear me someone is listening to me right now i am speaking to you rightly that's that thing that have kept Kept you restless. Kandore bragadabu shatayaba. I prophesy that is over. The peace of God comes right inside of you right now. Masu ekentoli bragadaga. Jan kantoli agandogo jakanaba. The sickness is out of you right now. Kantoli abagada. Ekontoli bragado jegede gedega. Brale kosun tayaba. 
Meleando le canto liaba, shake and toli bagadara. Sickness is terminated. Andori bragado jacayaba. Disease is terminated. La cozo co bagade jacata. En conto li bragado jegedo bragado jacatunda laba. This is not time to commit suicide. This is not time to ask why. This is time for Christ to dwell richly inside of you. And I decree to you that Christ comes richly inside of you right now. In the name of Jesus. Masu kendole bragado jacata. That challenge that you are facing, that you have been asking question of what to do and how to go about it. I prophesy to you right now that that solution is no, that problem is no more. That problem is no more. That challenge is no more. This is the end of it. One thing you must know about peace. Peace is the end of war. It's end of challenge. It's end of trouble. I prophesy to you right now that that challenge is over in your life. That trouble is over in your life. That war is over in your life. It may be a war of poverty. It may be a war of sickness. It may be a war of hesmen. It may be a war of whatever that is happening even in this nation. I speak right now that God of peace bring peace into this nation. Bring peace into your family. Bring peace into your business. Bring peace into your mind. In the name of Jesus, you that are planning to commit suicide, thinking that you are tired of this world, or tired of living, I prophesy to you right now that Christ come richly inside of you. You shall not die but live to proclaim the goodness of God. We are going to be praying for this nation. This nation is marking another year. But one thing you must understand, in marking this year, we are going to be declaring for new things to happen in this nation. Positive things and no more negative things. We are tired of the negative thing that is happening. We are tired of people dying unnecessarily in this nation. But today we mark a new beginning for Nigeria. We mark a new beginning for this nation. Wherever you are, join me in this prayer as we pray right now that Nigeria is taking a new phase. Nigeria is taking a new dimension, a positive dimension for that matter. If it's well with this nation, it's well with you. If it is well with this nation, it's well with the citizens. Lift up your voice and pray a prayer this moment. God does not stop prayers. He answers our prayers. And I know that God is answering your prayers as you are praying this moment. Nigeria is coming forth anew. Nigeria is coming forth brand new. Hey, thank you, Father. We speak to this nation that you are new from today. And we speak to the leaders of this nation. Their brains are new this moment. They have a creative ideas on doing things right. In the name of Jesus, as Nigeria is marking another year, Masu Akantoli Abaga, they will mark a new ideas in Toli Bragadosha on fruitfulness in Nigeria, of a better Nigeria. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. I'm going to pray as many that is hearing the sound of my voice right now. Maleko taya bagado jakata, en kontole bagado jagando bragado jagede, e kolo bogo jandali bragado jakatunda la boja kaba. I want you to lift up your voice with me and pray this prayer as I pray with you together. That Christ has done it all for you. He said, I am tapping into the peace and the rest of God in my life. E kontole bragadaba. He said, From today I enjoy peace, I enjoy rest. 
Lift up your voice and pray that prayer for yourself. He said, I enjoy peace. I enjoy rest in every aspect of my life. Lift up your voice. There is a general manager in a particular company. Hear me right now. In that situation that you are confused to on what to do and how to go about it, I decree that a better idea that will bring peace to you comes right now. Peace comes into your spirit right now. In the name of Jesus, as many that is hearing me, I decree sickness is terminated. Disease is terminated. Poverty is terminated. Whatever that makes you a sleepless night, brings a sleepless night to you, brings, makes you restless, I decree that they are over in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you so much. I thank God once again that he has answered our prayers. There is one good thing about praying. God answers our prayers. And I tell you the truth, your prayers have been answered. It's answered already. It has been answered by God. Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in. Like I was saying is here, you may be online, but you are in line. You are the next in line for a miracle. Praise God. And God bless you. See you again next month.